The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. This particular research is quite important because since 2019 we've had the National Waste Policy Action Plan in place. State governments have all started their own reform processes and local governments are coming on board because they ultimately are responsible for collection and management of waste. What we've seen is there is a level of integration and coordination that's happening across Australia uh, but with an incredible pipeline of infrastructure and other building commencing, we're also seeing extraordinary amounts of construction and demolition waste, which can be used for better purposes. Importantly, we've also been having a look at uh, some useful principles for circular economy design. The earlier that we engage with the entire value chain when we are looking at increasing the use of recycled construction, content in construction, uh, the more informed those outcomes can actually be. There is an opportunity to increase the use of recycled content in construction. In order to do that, it's really important that we understand both barriers and opportunities to doing this. This particular research project has brought industry partners across the board together to explore levels of awareness, what those barriers and opportunities might be, some of the principles that we need to put in place and importantly how we go about building national capability to make this a greater reality. This project is the third funded project by SBENRC in the area of construction and demolition waste management. So we are very fortunate to continue that stream of research for the center. This time we were able to uh, investigate uh, the issue of construction and demolition waste through some completed case studies where the, the construction projects have used a recycled material successfully so we could understand uh, from the knowledge that what were the barriers and what were the enablers for those organizations and for those projects uh, to actually use the recycled material. And by looking into the list of enablers and the list of the barriers that we have got, other organizations and other projects can learn a great deal about the management of the construction and demolition waste, and especially the use of recycled materials in the construction project. Uh, the part that was most excited for our industry partner uh, was the development of the training program. Uh, those, the training program uh, we would develop based on our two previous projects and we could deliver a pilot training for our partners and it received a very positive outcome. Uh, that training program we are very keen to develop and extend further and offer to more organizations in the industry because we see as we receive the feedback that there is a really a great value in offering that program and to develop that sort of a awareness of CND waste management in the industry. The importance of using recycled content as part of construction practices um, for our industry is that it helps to reduce our environmental impact and particularly now with net zero transition becoming a, 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 a big policy direction for, for our government, both federally and, and at state level, um, we need to be, to be driving the circular economy more and more um, with, within our, the communities and the economies that we work in. There are a, a couple of different examples of how we've been driving the uptake of recycled material and content within our, our, our road building practices. So the Roads to Reuse program, which was a collaborative effort between the Department of Waste and Environmental Regulation, Main Roads and Recycling Industry of Western Australia, we developed a product specification for the use of uh, construction and demolition waste. What that product specification has done has been able to enable a market um, and give confidence both to the community but also to the industry about the quality and the safety of recycled products for road building. This is ultimately a pathway for those materials into our projects 
and which means that we can leverage and gain all those, those benefits by using less virgin materials, less emissions, but make good use of a good product that's available from the waste streams of, of the construction industry. Further to that is also our approach to using crumb rubber. Some years ago, six years ago, there was no local, locally manufactured crumb rubber for use in asphalt available in West Australia. Crumb rubber asphalt is an extremely good product because it extends the life of our asphalt pavements and makes them more durable and therefore we get that, that environmental and also economic benefit from using them. One of the key benefits of working with SBE is that we were able to leverage their expertise and deliver a training package on the circular economy and on practices to increase the uptake of waste within our projects. This, this package was um, directly delivered to our teams, which means that we have broadened our knowledge and our, our internal capability through the collaboration with this research project. BGC has a long and enduring history of reducing, reusing and recycling waste. We are very committed to sustainable practices and our construction materials are designed for multiple cycles of use and reuse. A lot of materials that would normally be considered waste are incorporated into the manufacturing of other BGC products. For example, our block stone, which contains BGC building waste. However, there are still many barriers that affect the outcome of how much we can achieve and there still remains many opportunities to enable further improvements. The value of this research contributes to BGC and the construction industry as a whole to contribute to a more circular economy. It's important that we consider waste more as a resource than a waste. Creating this opportunity to increase resource efficiency we extend the use of those products. We can introduce them into construction input streams and importantly, introduce those products back into our construction uh, for a considerable national pipeline of opportunity. I'd really like to thank all of our industry partners for coming on board over the past year. It's been an engaging and exciting time to work with all of you. To all of the researchers part of this project, your contributions are valued. And I wish this particular project uh, every success moving into the future.